Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how the network diagram view works. Now you can customize the tables that are displayed in these um, boxes. So first of all, if you come down the view bar, you get network diagram in the view bar. If you haven't got the view bar selected, so it would look like that, you can just right click on this gray area and tick view bar and it gives you a list of view, main views and the views you've been into. Once you get into the network view, it just gives you a representation of what you've got in your Gantt chart. So there's the Gantt chart for this project and then there's the same information displayed as a network diagram. So you have different shapes. This one here is a summary shape and you've got little minus as you would on the Gantt chart to collapse everything down and then you've got critical and critical being red and then non-critical and then milestones critical milestones etc etc now if I just zoom this down a little bit so you can see the whole thing there's the whole thing and I'll bring it back up again if you want the information in these tables to change basically what you need to do is just double click anywhere on on the white making sure you're not in one of these boxes and then you'll get this box styles box come up now if I just cancel that for a second if you go to format at the top you've got the same sort of option but it's now picking this not the whole thing if I go to the next one it's got box styles which is back to where I was so whichever way you do it you can get into the format option for this so I'm just going to double click get back in there so all the different types of tasks are listed here so you've got critical and you get a, a little demonstration of what the critical ones look like and then you've got critical milestone which is this shape which is that one and so on and so on and then you've got critical summary which is this shape there now you've got the shape options down here so you can change these shapes and the color of all of these if you wish but I'm not going to do that in this little video. I want to talk about the tables that are displayed. So for critical tasks, it's a standard table, non-critical, standard, and then the critical summary, you've got the summary table. And if I click into this list, you can see all this information there. So if I click on cost, for example, you get the cost information. If I click OK, this is for the summary task, you get the, the cost in there instead of... The standard table information so let's go back into that uh, put that back to um, summary and okay and it's back to the summary information now if you want to create your own so at the minute let's have a look at what's in these critical it's a standard table so that's the fields that's in there if you want to create your own table what you need to do is go into more templates and there's a list and then you just select new and give it a name so I'll just call this Steve and then you've got um, show data from task ID 2 so it's not showing the summary one I'll leave it on 2 and then you've got this option here for cell layout so I'll put this into number of rows let's go for four rows and let's just go for two uh, two columns just to mess it up a little bit any cells merge cells that's got a blank cell to the left okay we'll leave it on that otherwise things might overlap and you won't see the information so I'll just click OK to that and then basically what you've got is the option to put the fields in these boxes so if I put name in there for example that's coming up straight across the top there and I'm going to leave the next because that's quite long it's overlapping into that cell so I won't put anything there and then I'll put percentage complete and I'll put um, actual cost and you can see it populating there and we'll have the um, start date from here um, in fact I'll do the baseline start baseline uh, baseline start if I find it don't go too fast baseline start there you go and the baseline finish next to it so we've got the two for this particular one and then below that we'll have I'll type R to get into the R's and I will then um, find resource names 
and I'll leave that all as one thing. So you set this up and then you click OK and then it appears in the list and then close that down and then OK, not OK, select it first, Steve and then OK, so there it is. So now that should have come into all these critical tasks but not the milestone and not these non-critical ones so if you wanted that for all of them you'd have to go to non-critical change standard to Steve okay and then that information is in all of these tasks and then you'd have to do the same for that so I'll go back into it and more templates these are the ones it tells you basically what's going to be in each of these if you click through them you get a bit of an idea and stuff like this I've got a lot of tracking so you can see there's some some of them have got more more boxes than others so there's quite a lot of information in that one and work again quite a lot of information but you can see where the fields have been left because the name field is always going to be the task name and it could it could be quite long so make sure you leave space for that so that's basically how you can change the tables so I've got Steve on this one let's put Steve on so critical summary or on that one so it's done the same there so the only thing I haven't done is is these uh, critical milestones critical milestone Steve you might not want to do it on all of them like I'm doing here okay so that's it's on everything now that I'm interested in now you can actually create a structure in this view from scratch so what's what happens here? if I just draw a rectangle and then draw another rectangle and then another rectangle what I'm actually doing is creating tasks and then if I go like that and then like that I'm actually creating links to these tasks so I've created a string there of tasks now what has that done to the Gantt chart you might ask if I go into the Gantt chart it's created this structure there and all of these sort of links you might think that's the wrong way around it could well be the wrong way around I'm not for one minute saying that you should um, do things like this it's a lot more difficult to actually get the links the right way around so if I went that way like so and then look at the Gantt chart so now that now they're following on looks a bit more correct oh, it looks correct it was, it's quite a nice little structure that either way it was 10 times easier to do it in the Gantt chart I'll just delete all these off so do it in the Gantt chart and then edit it in the network diagram like I have done so that's basically a quick look at the network diagram so hopefully that was of use to you um, thank you for your time I'll see you on the next one